The Artist TV in association with Block 5 Entertainment. You know what time it is, you know what I do. I get the real ones, no matter how long that takes. And when I get them real ones, they give the real story for the youths to learn a lesson, you get me? This man here and me's known each other for a minute, a real minute. I know him as anger. So hear what I'm saying? Listen to the real story and make sure you do something with it. What are you saying over there, big man? You good? Yes, bro, man. Good, man. Happy uh, to be here. Happy to be reunited with you, bro. Respect, big man. Come on. Let's give him it from the beginning, you get me? Yeah, yeah. We want to know where you're from and what you were seeing out there as a youth. Yeah, I'm from London, eh? But yeah. I grew up in South London, um, Southwark, Lambeth sides. But yeah, bro, like, I moved about a few sides, but yeah, I grew up them sides. London, Southwark, Lambeth, that's me, it. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to ask you, because obviously we're not going to give names of people that were gang affiliated, but we want to know what sort of gangs did you have an affiliation with? Um, I'm not going to say the, the name of the people. Yeah. But certain people from Fields in Brixton. Ah. Um, that's the first kind of people I've seen that I knew, right, these people are really about this thing. Yeah. And, and a few men up in Old Kent Road, can't forget, they used to call themselves Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let them know the time ever we're talking about so they know this is past tense. Boy, D, I come, I was living in Brixton for three years, bro. Yeah. From 07 to 010. Ah. Uh. Yeah, um, them times there, as you know, my bro, for my generation, it was madness. Yeah. So, yeah, 07 to 010 was, was nothing but madness. Yeah. So for anyone who ain't clued up on what gangs were running the roads of Brixton, mm. remember around them times we was coming off of the 28s onto things like PDC, we was on like the, what was you say, um, the... Oh God, it's gone out of my head now. Oh, OC was fucking up yeah. Mitesfield. You know what time it was. Therefore, then you had surrounding gangs that were about as well. You had like, obviously you had the roadside G's coming along. Yeah. You had the old tray that yeah. was Wandsworth Road. Yeah. So yeah, but they was coming through Brixton as well. They had affiliations. So these are the sort of gangs that this man was around. You get me and new people from certain ones. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you, big man. Yeah. What was the first thing you started seeing out there that made you think, you know what, that life's nice, I want a piece of that? I can't lie to you, D. Seal. When I come to Brixton, I was like I said, I weren't born in Brixton. I didn't chill around certain, like Brixton like that, but when I was living in Brixton between them 07 to 010 times, yeah. you see the men in Brixton, they were different. Mm. Different with it. You know what I'm saying, D? Like, yeah. Real different with it, like I was like, right. You see these men out here, like, they get respect differently. And I looked up to the man there. Yeah. Because I felt like I was a bit insecure within myself. I wanted to always be respected, but I was thinking, you see these men from Brixton, they got respect that no one else really got. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, I would say just looking up to certain men from Brixton, I wanted to be like them. Yeah. And that's the realest. Ah, uh, so what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to let people know further on in this interview, the man's going to show you where his head's at now yeah. and why he realises that it's all dead. Yeah. But we also want to know about him when he was in that state of mind, you get me? Yeah. So what I'm saying to you, big man, like, what was you feeling was the way forward then? Like, obviously, man's got the garms, man's got the money. Yeah. What did you want when you was in that mind state? Boy, D, I wanted respect. Yeah. Yeah. And I felt like the only way to earn respect was to get it off of the brothers on the road. Yeah. I just wanted to be left alone, D. Yeah. You know, you leave me alone, I leave you alone. But as you know, D, them times, it weren't like that. Yeah. If you're getting G checked and you don't know where you're from, don't know where anyone, where you don't know anyone around the area, that's it. You're yeah, finished. It's curtains. Yeah. So yeah, you know how it goes, man. I just wanted just simple respect and to be left alone. And I see the way these men are moving. And I thought I had to move like these men to get respect. Yeah. And I knew I weren't like these men. I knew I was on my own thing, but I thought the only way to move like these men to get respect is to be like these men. Yeah. So I was wearing a mask like every day, bro, pretending I was somebody 
like them, but I just wanted no more respect, bro. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, big man, through that time there when you was feeling you needed to prove something, yeah, yeah. what is the worst situations you got through just to show that you was one of the man then? Boy, um, one time I was in somewhere in Lambeth, I don't really want to say it, do you? Yeah? Mm. But somewhere in Lambeth and some youth from the other side, those who know, know who the other side was, innit? Yeah. They come around an area that I was staying in and they were trying to rob a lot of people around the area. Yeah. And I knew that I'm going to become a victim if I give over my stuff, innit? Yeah. So I just started moving like these, man. I thought, nah. I'm not going to give over my stuff. I'm not going to do stuff like that. I'm going to, this is the day it changes. And yeah, that's how it was really. Yeah. So from that situation there. From that situation, D, where these youths from the other side have come round where I'm from. Yeah. Trying to rob everybody. I'm like, no, I'm not going to become a victim. Yeah. And for me, just not becoming a victim, everything changed from that day. And I was like 14, 15 that day. Yeah. So just on the quick one, don't yeah. go too far in, because yeah. like you say, but tell them, how did that one outcome? Like what made it after that people knew you ain't playing no games? It took a long time, dude, because I never used to be like the typical road man. You know, yeah. like certain man, they have to dress all blacked out and the hoodie on and they have to act a certain way, trousers hanging down. Yeah. With me, I used to dress like a sweet boy. So it's like, yeah. man ain't trying to take me serious. It wasn't until man knew in it, there was a time in my life I got to 18, 19, where you couldn't talk to me anymore. I'm just going to punch you up or do uh. something. And that was just, like I said, every day I woke up, I felt like, I need to be respected. That means nobody can chat for me. Yeah. And it just got like that. So I'm going to say this, big man. Even up to now, just yeah. recently, somebody left us through the gang-related violence out here. You get me? It's all over the news and everything. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, in your time, when you was out there on them roads with some sticky names, yeah. what's the worst thing you saw happen to anyone to show the youth, listen, you don't want to see what I saw. Bro, I'll be real with you, yeah? Like, you see the period of time where I, I would say my come up was, yeah? You had to really be about this thing to even be around. Yeah. You, know? you couldn't be no fake Instagram blogger or fake yeah, influencer real talk. or fake rapper. You had to be real, innit? So what I learned is... How I... What I learned is the only way for me to be in Brixton and to be good is to move like these guys. You couldn't be fake, bro. So I've seen like a bag of man just crumble. Yeah. I've seen these YouTube rappers, bro. I don't want to say no names, but they're, they're talking the maddest. These youths were never out here. Yeah. And these are this, it's just, everything is fake, bro, innit? You have to be really about this to be respected, innit? Yeah. And yeah, what I've seen is a bunch of fake rappers been G-checked all the time, bullied, so many things do you know how it is out here yeah. back then it, w it was different now it's now it's this is changed man back then you had to be real now it's different yeah mm. what was the point of your life when you said you know what this is dead i don't even want to carry on with this i'm looking to do something right with my life i'm looking a job i'm looking a business i ain't trying to walk around these streets all day and night yeah bro i say it was when i was about 21. Yeah. I was like, I'm tired of trying to please these guys from the road. These men don't care about me. Yeah. All I want is respect. Yeah. And I'm thinking to get respect, I have to be approved by these guys on the road. So I got tired of fighting for nothing. Yeah. I got tired of letting my family down. Remember, you know, my family now, yeah. They're not even about this thing like that. I'm the only one in my family that got myself into trouble. Yeah. And you know, D, yeah, the real guys, yeah, that are really about this thing, yeah, it's been in them. If they're not on it, their brother would have been on it, or their dad would have been on it, or their yeah. family would have been on it. Mm. So I'm thinking, right, I'm just acting like an idiot. You know, I'm trying to get approved by a bunch of street guys where, you know, the streets is fake. Yeah. 
brothers that I used to look at like, right, oh, they're real guys, they're real, they're squashing it with people that they told me last week they were going to kill. Yeah. People have lost their lives. Mm. It's just so fake. So I just got to the point where I got tired of putting on a mask, tired of, tired of thinking what other people think. And I just thought, you know what? That's it, enough is enough. Like I said, I put on a mask, not, not a mask, but over my face now, like literally, I put on a mask, like, yeah, I'm gonna be this guy. Yeah. I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna try and act gangster. I'm gonna try and please the streets just to get respect. But that's not the way forward. So now give I look him, at respect different. So give him a big message now and answer this question. Yeah. To you today, as a man who's seen what you've seen and has got your mind in the state it's in now to look at the future and say, listen, I want to see none of that for the young doms out here. What to you today is respect? For me, yeah, what I would say is respect is being, is your family being proud of what you've accomplished. Mm -hmm. um, leaving a legacy towards your little brothers, kids, or yeah. whatever you'll never get respect on the road the road is fake i know a bunch of real guys that told me the road is fake i've sat down with guys that are you know where they are yeah and they've told me it's, it's they they don't even wish they done it so i would say you know the best way to get respect is make your family proud and that's it because family comes first yeah yeah make yourself proud your family proud leave a legacy and that's it don't prove to people on the road anything because it's not worth it people on the road are there for a reason it's just the road and that's it yeah yeah you know so i'm gonna ask you some young you will watch this interview yeah he's like fuck my man yeah come i don't on. give a fuck about what he's on yeah. some donny who's now doing work i'm out here with my big gun and my big knife i'm gonna fuck someone up yeah so i don't want to hear none of these words what's the story for him what are you telling that you boy like i said you see for me yeah coming on here i'm speaking to people that's confused and I, yeah. I was confused before i didn't know what i wanted I knew I wanted respect, but I thought that getting respect was going down the negative way, innit? Fighting, you know, being feared, stuff like that. Yeah, if you're on your road with your gun, your whatever, you're a street guy, then you're a street guy, innit? I can't talk to you. But if you're trying to impress people in your ends, or trying to impress these, these fake elders, it's not worth it, bro. Because look on YouTube, Look on Google, there's a bag of people that's been jailed. The biggest gangsters are now they're coming out and they're saying they wish they never done what they done. Yeah, you know the uh, people that are real guys, you know, go on YouTube, they're doing podcasts, they're, they're regretting everything. Mm. If you're a street guy, I can't really speak for you. You know, if you're a street guy, you're a street guy, that's it, isn't it? But if you're somebody that's coming up and you're trying to prove to people, look, I'm this person, I'm that person. I want to get my respect, there's no point. Yeah, if you want to be a painter, just be a painter. If you want to be an electrician, just be an electrician. Stop thinking you have to be respected just for going down the road. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with being confused. I was confused, I was young, I was misguided. I never had real elders, elders around me to tell me, bro, you're, you know, chill. So yeah, just know who you are. Yeah, I'm not here preaching or anything, just know who you are. Stay true to yourself. You tell us, what's the biggest lesson you've learned from this life? Yeah, bro, I've, I've learned that um, just being yourself is the best ever, bro, you know? Don't watch anybody else, you know? Do what's best for you. Wake up in the morning and be you. Yeah, because freedom is everything. Yeah, family is everything. There's going to be one day where you're going to settle down, you're going to have your kids, you're going to have your family, you're going to think, right, oh, this, you know, forget this road stuff. Yeah. Remember, you know, bro, I'm not a gangster. Yeah. I wasn't a street guy. I was someone who came up, yeah, and I didn't want to be victimised. So I had to do things. Yeah. 
but I didn't really have to do it. But I thought I had to prove to these guys on the road, you know, that, you know, just leave me alone. I just wanted to be left alone. So just be you. If the streets ain't for you, stay away from it. Simple as that. Yeah. So I'm gonna say this to you. Right now, yeah. in summer state, all over the place. Mm -hmm. London, Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool, wherever your block is. Yeah. There's some you that has got the same mind state you had when you was out there. Yeah. Yeah. Tell him what life has made you lose in your journey regards prison time, being stabbed, being shot, losing family members that didn't want to hear what you're on, mm -hmm. anything like that. Tell them what you've lost in your lifetime to make them know from early, don't lose the same. All right, cool. So, as I told you, yeah, I just was a man where I just wanted respect, yeah? yeah. So it's like, you leave me alone, I leave you alone. But like I said, because I was trying to prove to these next guys on the road, that didn't have the same goals as me. I just wasted my time. Yeah, I was putting on a mask every day, pretending I was this angry guy. You know, I'm gonna bang out all the time because I thought, you know, it would impress people. But it made me change. It made, it fucked up my mental health. Yeah. You know? Everyone's hearing your anger's on this, he's on that, he's on that, he's riding out. But I don't want, no unnecessary trouble. You know what I'm saying? Dude? Yeah. I just want to be left alone. So it played with my mental health. Just imagine getting up and every day you walk out your door and you know you've got to be somebody else. Yeah. But you're not really. You just want to be left alone, but you're too busy thinking what the streets is going to think. Yeah. So it messed up my mental health. All I could think is I want to be like street guys. You see from when you wake up now, bro, and you're trying to be somebody else, that's a no-go. Be true to yourself. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, it messed up relationships with my family. Yeah, I ended up sitting down. Jobs that I wanted to do when I was at this age that I'm now, it was hard for me to get it. Yeah. Because I caught certain... Yeah, and the record. Know, yeah, yeah, you know. So it's just, yeah, it's not worth it, man. Just be you. If you're a street guy, be a street guy. If you're a working man, be a working man. Yeah, don't, you can't be both. Yeah. You'll end up messed up. Yeah, yeah. what the man's saying. And remember, listen what the man's saying. Please Mental do. health. Please do. Because a this lot of people what? will put on a Ferrado when they're out there, you get me? I know me? what it's like. But bro. when they're sitting at home on their own, their mental health's destroying them. destroying them, bro. I and they're trying like. not to talk on that when that's the realest of things. Because in this life, like. everything can be taken from you. Come except on, for that mental, mental your mental health. stability. If you ain't got that, you're in trouble. Bro, I'm telling you, back then, I thought that the only way to be respected, listen how stupid this is, yeah? But back then, I thought the only way to be respected is to keep up a bag of madness, act all maggy maggy, so the street guy's gonna prove you. That's what I thought respect was. Yeah. I weren't even thinking about money, university, businesses i thought the best way for me to get respected is if the street guys give me respect what is the biggest thing you've lost as regards your future that you could have done years ago but now you're struggling to get i'm talking about a job like you just said there university yeah. like what have you lost in them younger years that it's hard now to get back i think the biggest thing i lost was my actual personality. Yeah. I used to be a, a, a humble, bubbly person when I was in my early teens. Yeah. Late teens. But just me being raised in a community where there was bare badness, bare madness. Remember, D, back then, you know, there, it wasn't like, right, man, showing you love on Instagram and Facebook and all of that. Like, if you weren't certified, on the streets and your name weren't ringing bells, you was a nobody. Yeah. Yeah. And I lost, I thought, yeah, the biggest thing I say I would lose is, is my character. I'm never going to be who I was back then because of just me being through so much stuff. Yeah. Waking up every day thinking I can't take violation, I have to get these men back. Yeah. 
I just turned into a different kind of person because I was following the wrong people. Mm. Peer pressure, everything that got me. I was a victim. Yeah, I was a victim because I thought that I had to prove to all these guys on the road something. And these guys never cared about me. Yeah, that's the real talk. When you yeah. catch your case, they don't care about you. When you're sitting in jail, they no one's care, visiting. Bro. It's just that yeah. they find the next kind of you that's coming up. Yeah, while your mum's coming up there every month. Yeah. Then you end up estranged from your family. You just end up moving mad. Like This is what I'm saying to anybody out there. I know what it's like growing up. When you're young and that, you know, you think you have to be this bad boy or whatever. Nah, man, just be you. There's so many opportunities nowadays. Yeah. You know, do you have the Instagrams, you have the you can be like I don't know, you can do the YouTube, the raps, everything. The young people have so many opportunities these days to do things positive. Yeah. Understand what the man's saying as well, because you need to know yourself. If you're young out here and you think the world was about Facebook and YouTube and Instagram, yeah, back them times, man was lucky if they had a MySpace at the least. Yeah, there was none of that shit. Of you was raw and you was on road and your name would ring bells because you did shit that made it ring bells. Yeah. Someone never flooded your thing over Instagram and made it look like you was a superstar. That's so understand the ever this man's talking about. Yeah, Let me yeah. ask you though, big man, right yeah. now as you sit here, mm. tell us honestly, has your mental health come back to where you want it? Do you feel like the person you want to be or do you still have flashbacks of that life and what it was to you? Boy, you know what? Um, right now I'm in a better place because I've got older, you know. Um, I've taken my way. I've, I've, I've branched out, you know, I've met different people in life. Yeah. I've read a lot more. You see what it is as well, D? These youngsters don't read no more. <laughs> the first thing they do in the morning, yeah, is check their Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. You need to learn, you need to find God. Yeah. You need to read. Yeah. You need to know what's what. Yeah. You see me now, yeah. I've managed to meet a lot of elders. That's done well. I spoke to a lot of Rastaman. Rasta man. Yeah, they've given me wise words. And that's helped me to just move forward in life. Yeah. You know? Um, you've got to branch out, man. You've got to know who you are as well. Like I said, if you are Tom the Painter, don't try to be D2 the gangbang. Yeah. It don't make sense. Yeah? Wake up. Read, find God, know who you are, and it's easy as that. Isn't it? So let me ask you, yeah. how do you judge a person in this day and age? Because let's be real, no one don't show you their full self. No. no one don't show you their full self. They can pretend they're your brethren. Like you said, when you're in sticky situations, they're gone. Yeah. So how do you yourself judge a person? How do you think to yourself, you know what, that person's not bad. That person that I'm staying away from. Um, so surround yourself by people that you love, yeah? You see your friends, they're supposed to be your family as well, you know? Yeah. Your friends would want the best for you. So if they know that you are the person that's trying to go uni, you're trying to, you know, get, get the degree in a certain thing, they'll support you through it, you know? Your friends will support you through everything. Mm. So I would say is to know who you, your true friends or who's there for you, they'll support you through everything and they'll guide you the right way and they won't make you waste your time. Because I know a bag of people that just slow me down in life. Yeah. You know, your friends are the people that will make sure you get through them obstacles. Yeah. You get through them speed bumps. They'll push you. Family, friends, loved ones, that's all you need. You know, that's it. You heard what the man said. So when that Donnie's looking at you sideways because you're doing better than him, drop him out. So I'm going to ask you, big man, yeah. what's the future for you? What are you looking to do next? You said you're a man who likes to work now, wants yeah, to get a man. business. Tell us what's coming. Yeah, so for me, yeah, obviously I've been a working man for over a decade. Uh, I'm trying to get into business because what I learned is the, uh, in school and in... In school, they don't teach us to be entrepreneurs. 
you know they just teach us to work for people yeah you know oh yeah get this much GCSEs because you can become a banker but they don't tell you study and own your own so I'm just trying to get into my own businesses I'm trying to you know I would say get closer to God because a lot of these youngsters elders confused people do they don't know God yeah yeah and if you don't know God, you're you're just like a walking dead person. Yeah. Like I said, the first thing they do in the morning is check their Instagram. Check how many likes they got. Mm. They're following fake influencers. They're following fake YouTube people, fake rappers that are lying. For me, find God. Yeah? Once yeah. you find God, you're good. Find God. Yeah. Know who you are and just stay true to yourself. Once everything's natural, everything will run smooth. Yeah. That's so it. you answer this to me, big man. Mm. How does someone get their mind state off of all this internet? Like, I'm gonna be real with you. Oh, I don't man. give a fuck about internet. Yeah. And yet I sit there sometimes and think, how the fuck did I only get 80 likes when this guy here's <laughs> got 10,000? Yeah. You see what I mean? I ain't gonna lie, it yeah. gasses you up on the thing of like, wow, you do actually look at these things. Yeah. So help me as well, big man. Like, how does someone get their mind off of this Instagram, this Facebook, all this crap? Because it does fuck you, no matter does, how sturdy does. you think you are. It does. And you know what? I'm gonna say something, and I don't really know if the people are gonna like this, but you see when you brothers are dissing each other on the, on the lives, on the YouTube, on the diss tracks or whatever, yeah? You lot, when you lot end up dead, yeah, I ain't got no sympathy for you. Yeah, that's real talk. That's real Because you had some talk and that's now you're not talk. backing it, yeah. Yeah, because even down to the other day, yeah, there was some youth that I know, dear, yeah. I ain't really going to say who he was, but I was trying to get through to him. Yeah. Now, yeah. And the only way to get through to him was going on his live, Instagram live. I'm not really a man that really deals with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you know, you know, the old next, school, yeah. Yeah, the next fake, man. We all know, yeah? But yeah, I've tried to get onto his live now. I've tried to talk to him now. Because I heard he's been moving like a Krispy Kreme donut, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I've been trying to chat to him, ask him what's going on, you know? Not not really bad him up because he's on the live, you know? Yeah. But this guy starts talking a bag of fuckery to me, bro. And I know this. Shit. After he knows you, he knows, knows what you're on, yeah. He, he knows he can never talk to me like that. And it just shows, you see the internet. Yeah, it will gas him it, to make him I'm look big to the people that don't know him. That's what I'm saying. They're forgetting what the internet's for, bro. Yeah. They're forgetting what Instagram, Facebook, all of these things are for. And then when yeah. he turns around the wrong corner there and sees go. you in the flesh. There we go. Yeah. You've got a bag of man abusing the internet. You see the internet, you see social media and all of that, yeah? It was made for, you know that like D when we went to school? Yeah. You know like our good friends now, yeah? They might have moved 100, 200 miles away. And the only way for us to get through to them is to get on the internet. Exactly. And see how yeah. they are. Our family might have moved to another country. That's the only way to talk to them. But these kids, yeah, they diss each other on tracks. They diss each other on the net. And when they're dead, yeah, I don't have no sympathy for them. Nah, because you put yourself in an awkward position. Awkward. Yeah. So the internet is the dev. Is the, listen, don't get involved in the internet. Yeah. It won't help you you'll end up getting your fucking bacon sizzled, mate. Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna switch it up now. Yeah. I wanna see your opinion on the world. Yeah. Like, forget what you've seen as a man and the pains you've gone through to get where you're at. Yeah. I wanna ask you about politics. I wanna ask you about what they put on the TV to yeah. make us see. Yeah. What do you think of the state of this country? Man, this, this, um, yeah, you see this country, Fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucked up. I'm from fucking England. I don't want to live in. <laughs> yeah, real too. How about that, bro? Mm. Yeah. You know, you got people coming over here from different countries. They stay over here only a month, two months, and they don't want to stay here for long. Yeah. Yeah. You see this country? I would say, you know what? I would say London. You see, London in general is fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. You kids are not flying away. You're not enjoying life. Yeah. You got everything for you now. What did we have back then, D? We had nothing. A joke. It was a joke. Nothing. Now you guys can 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 get paid off for getting likes on Instagram. If you're a rapper, you can blow up the next day. <laughs> you lot are abusing London. You lot are going mad. Because you see London, it's a crazy place. You lot need to fly away 
find God, enjoy life. I just think a bag of people are getting stressed out in London. Yeah, definitely. And I'm not one of those, innit? Yeah. Yeah, I keep, I, I enjoy every day waking up, you know, just enjoying the freedom. Yeah. This country's all about bills, bills and bills and money and this and that. Yeah. You to fly away, come back, stay refreshed, man. Stop killing each other on this gang shit as well, man. You hear what this man's saying? Doing, and I'm going to be real on this. I'm one of them people that get stressed out. Like, I'm not like mm. this man. I ain't got the mindset he's on. Mm. Certain times I see bitch boys doing bitch boy interviews and I get stressed out. Yeah, so I got to learn as well. It's all a learning process, oh. you get me? So I'm going to say to you, big man, yeah. like, you've done this for the people. Yeah. You've showed them the real. Yeah. There's going to be people that watch this, respect what you're on, mm. and they want to holler at you. How can a man get at you if they want to talk to you? Yeah, I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Fuck getting at me, innit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even, like, to get at me. Nah, you know what? I'm not even on social media like that. Yeah. But what I would say is, you see this here now, D, yeah? Yeah. This is for anybody out there that is confused that don't know who they are. Yeah. Yeah? Don't follow a next man. Be you. Yeah. yeah. I'm not speaking for the streets. I'm not speaking for anybody else. I'm f speaking for, if your ambition is to go uni, get a degree, build a business, stay in your lane and stay focused. Yeah. Yeah, don't watch anybody. Just don't make mistakes and don't make nobody draw you up. Cause that's what I was. I was trying to stay in my own lane, but I had a bunch of people draw me out, and I ended up just only now. I'm just in my early thirties. It's trying to sort my life out. Yeah. So listen carefully to the man, because it ain't too late. If you're in that block with a big knife and a big gun, because you think your next door neighbour's bad, and you want to be like him, you gotta understand. A lot of people have lost a lot of life yeah. out here. Yeah. and a lot of opportunities. If you want to hear more from this man, because this message is deep and real, then you put it in the comments yeah. and the brother will come back and give you some more of the real talk. Yeah. Other than that, start learning from what he's saying. Start learning, you know. Be, yeah. you, be yourself. Yeah, don't follow nobody. Yeah, follow yourself. You yeah. heard that. Simple follow stuff. yourself and love your family. Yeah. Find God. Yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, stop waking up in the morning and trying to find what you find what use what and what are doing it. Just find God, pattern up. It's yeah. easy as that. And we're gonna leave it on this. Big up my brother. Yeah, and I brother. mean that from the heart. Me and my brother has known each other for a minute, for a long and time. he's always showed me love. Always, always tried to push my thing forward. On, Back man. from the who's hot on your block days. People don't Come know on, about man. that shit, you get me? Listen, Where's that here when Mike and Million had the game, you get Come me? Come on, man. Oh. Come on. Listen, I've been out here, I've seen how it is. Yeah. I know who I was. You know what, you got, you know what, before we, we finish this year, I've got to shout out, like, the proper people that's... Mm -hmm. We need to have more leaders, yeah. positive leaders, you know. Shout out my brother Carl Loco. That's a real leader right there. You know Asher, isn't it? Yeah. Shout out Asher, he used to have the Code 7 studio. He's still know? rolling it, he's still he's rolling still, it, yeah. That's what I'm saying. We Real need, Donnie trying to help the saying. youths, yeah. You know, we need more people like that, yeah, to just come out and we need all them kind of people. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because they're real people, you know. Simple as that. So just, we need more leaders to come, to come forward. Yeah. And Anyone who really is at it to show yeah, the youths better. Man. Like, it don't matter how fucked you are. And if you know, you know something good, show the youths it. And I want to big up a few people, because I, I, I've been watching them, and, and, I, and one of them's on your, on your channel, the Quazzo, Quazzo Medici. Yeah that, yeah, that brother, I don't know him personally, but I know about him, and I love what he's doing. Yeah. And you see him, he's, he's been about this thing, and he's showing all these kids it's not worth it. Yeah. So check him out, yeah? Quazzo Medici, my brother, Carl Loco, check him out. Yeah, all these men that were really about this thing, yeah, are crying and begging to you kids. 
not even just kids, you youngers, you elders that are confused, it's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth it, bro. If you ain't ready to die, yeah, then don't don't jump on this road. Too. It's not fate, bro. I lied to you. Yeah. You have to be ready to die. Yeah, what you said. If you're not on that, stay in your house. Yeah? Yeah, it's simple yeah. as that. So my last words is this. Yeah. You heard what the man said. If yeah. you ain't ready to die, so I'll tell you this, how the fuck you want to be ready to die when you've got all the opportunities in the world? There we go. So much opportunities. Ah. You lot have it all, man. You know, make use of everything. Yeah. Enjoy life, man. Real talk. As simple as that. Yeah. We're done. Big up, okay. Julie, from yeah, the Stockwell okay. Community Centre for letting us do this. Always okay. shine love. Yeah, man. Big up my brother. We soon give you something else if you're ready for that. <laughs> and big up all the youths out there that big don't see everyone, the man. dumbness as the way forward. Big up, everyone, big up everyone who knows real talk is real talk and they're watching me and following me. Because we're walking on this journey together. Definitely, man. Yeah. One. Big up everybody. Shout out. Yeah, man. Yourself, bro. You know, I've always rated you because you're the realest. Respect, brother. The artist. And yeah, man. You know, uh, kids stay in school, do well. There's so many opportunities for you lot out there. You know, there's nothing wrong with being confused. You know, I was a victim to the road, not because. I got bullied or anything like that, but I thought that the road was the only way to go. I wasted five years of going down a path that I didn't even want you, and I'm glad I was able to escape it, and I'm much more better now. And yeah, man, you know, yeah, just do well and keep grafting, and that's it.